Wide receiver Christian Kirk is part of a unique trio, one of three current Cardinals that played football at Saguaro High School in Scottsdale. When Kirk arrived on campus in 2011 as a freshman, he followed the footsteps of senior running back DJ Foster. At that point, it wasn't Christian Kirk, it was DJ Foster, he was the guy. And so we kind of put Christian under DJ's wing a little bit. Um, Christian wanted to be better than DJ. The Sabercats went 13 and two, led by Foster's 60 touchdowns, eventually winning the Division III state title. In the state championship game, it was the Christian and DJ show. You know, DJ, I think, had over 200 yards rushing, and Christian had 100 yards receiving and a touchdown, and they really kind of put us on their back to, to help us win that game. After we won state, you know, his last game, I came up to him and I said, bro, thank you so much for everything this year. Like, I promise, you know, I'm going to take on, you know, this tradition and keep leading this team, you know, to where it needs to go in this program. and. You know, he just looked at me and said, be better than me. He mm -hmm. said, that's all I want, be better than me. Kirk took the challenge to heart, winning back-to-back -back titles in his junior and senior seasons, igniting a stretch of six consecutive state titles for SAG U. After we won the state championship, I proposed to my wife. I mean, they're actually interviewing Christian, our quarterback, Luke Rebenzer, and myself on live TV, and that's when I did it. So Christian was, uh, was with me there for that special moment. In his senior year, Kirk flourished under the Friday night lights, gaining over 3,000 all-purpose yards, scoring 43 touchdowns while earning national recognition. This is actually Christian's uh, Gatorade Player of the Year trophy right here. I like to keep that proudly displayed on my desk. He also served as a mentor for transfer Byron Murphy, a budding star and key piece of the Saguaro dynasty. There's Christian and Byron right next to each other. There's no better example of how you handle your business uh, at the high school level than what Christian did. I never had to ask Christian to do anything. He was always the first one in, last one out. Um, always had a great attitude, was always coachable. He's the one and only kid I've ever said was a pro in high school. He just, he handled himself like a pro. After starring collegiately at Texas A&M for three seasons, Kirk was a top prospect heading into the 2018 NFL draft. <laughs> I was blown away in shock and still got to pinch myself sometimes that like I got drafted back home because this is the last place I thought I was going to end up. In his second season, Kirk is showing off his big play potential in Cliff Kingsbury's offense. Murray pumps right, back to pass, fires deep. Far sideline receivers there, is caught at the 30, at the 20, at the 10, the five touchdown. Christian Kirk again runs by the defender, and it's a 69-yard touchdown. The Cardinals' SAG U trio carry an affinity for their alma mater, regularly returning to the place where it all began. To have those guys come back and, and care about this program and just want to be around just means the world to me, you know. That means more to me than anything else, um, is that guys, that they still feel like this is their home. Mons recently added a tribute to Kirk inside the Sabercats locker room. Just so when guys come in, they go, man, these guys that are, are playing at the highest level now, they got dressed in the same locker room, just like we did. And, and it just, it's really special for us. It's a way to say thank you to those players and, and kind of let their legacy live on, but also to try to motivate our guys. Kirk is living his dream starring for his hometown team, but still yearns to leave his own legacy as a pro. You know, I know my envisionment is to hopefully be able to spend the rest of my career, you know, as a Cardinal, um, you know, be at home, you know, for the rest of my career and being able to take the field and represent, you know, the state that made me who I am today. And um, not only that, just to, you know, be a, a, a positive influence in the community and, you know, keep building this community and, and make it even better than what it is. And so, you know, I know if I work hard and, you know, do the things that I've been doing, you know, the on the field stuff will come. And, you know, hopefully it'd be really cool to, to walk into the State Farm Stadium and see, you know, your name, you know, you know on, on, around the stadium, you know, it'd be really cool and the, you know, be inducted as a legend, you know, a Cardinal legend. So that'd be, you know, my perfect dream. For most NFL players, visiting their high school's pep rally might require some fortunate timing. 
and a plane ticket. We uh, we have some special guests here today. It's an exciting day for us. But for Cardinals players DJ Foster, Christian Kirk, and Byron Murphy, stopping by their old stomping grounds of Saguaro High School just means driving down the street. The fact that we've got three guys in the NFL, uh, in all of the NFL, and they all happen to be on the same team, which also happens to be the hometown team, is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's so special. And it's, you know, I, I don't know that it'll ever happen again. Um, I don't know that it's happened anywhere else. I, I, I'll have, like, people come by, he's like, all three of y'all went to the same high school? <laughs> and it's, I'm like, yeah, man, because it's just, that's, that's very rare. Rare is a fitting word for running back DJ Foster, who made a name for himself nationally by rushing for 500 yards and 10 touchdowns in one game. Into the end zone he goes, DJ Foster. It was crazy. Um, I think once he hit about six, Coach Sanders was like, all right, keep going. You know, That's my guy. He's like, let, it, let him run, yeah, let him run. run. Sixth rushing touchdown of the evening. And honestly, <laughs> if you think about it too, I think the final score was what, like 75 That's what, it was a close game still. Yeah, like, so when I tell, when people hear that, they're like, oh man, you guys are running up to score. It was like yeah. 80 to like exactly. 60. Exactly. Like, it was like, a playoff game They were too. still scoring too. And like, I don't think I even like realized until after the game. Like it was kind of like, thank God yeah. we won. Time to move on. Oh, by the way, DJ rushed for 500 yards and 10 touchdowns. 10 touchdowns? That's different. Foster was different. Not just a playmaker for the Sabercats, but also a leader in the locker room. You know, Christian came in as a freshman. DJ was going into a senior year, and he was the guy. You know, I looked up to DJ. You know, always I was a little ball boy on the sideline when, you know, DJ was a, a sophomore and junior. You know, every kid at the time that was on our youth team wanted to be like DJ Foster. We kind of put Christian under DJ's wing a little bit. It was pretty special. You know, Christian started uh, as a freshman, at, I think starting week three, and uh, in the state championship game, it was the Christian and DJ show. You know, DJ, I think, had over 200 yards rushing, and Christian had 100 yards receiving and a touchdown. And um, I mean, they really kind of put us on their back. I think the one thing that, you know, sticks with me, you know, from DJ after we won state, you know, his last game, when I came up to him, I said, bro, thank you so much for everything this year. Like, I promise, you know, I'm gonna take on, you know, this tradition and keep leading this team. You know, he just looked at me and said, be better than me. He mm -hmm. said, that's all I want, be better than me. And so that stuck with me from, from that day on. And, you know, I did everything in my power to, to be been, better. He's been grinding, <laughs> he's been grinding. After starring locally at Arizona State, Foster's path to the NFL was an uphill grind. I know, I went undrafted and I remember my process to the NFL was so much different than theirs, you know. I was one of two guys undrafted to make the team in New England. I didn't think I had a chance, but it's just cool to see how it all comes full circle. And just high school, college, I said, I try to go away. I keep finding my way back to Arizona. For current Saguaro players, the trio of NFL alums provide a beacon of hope for what they can accomplish, along with continuing the program's storied tradition. Uh, I still got to pitch myself sometimes because it's so, uh, so crazy that I ended up back here, you know, in my hometown. and being able to rep the state of Arizona still. I, I, that's what I come back and tell them. I said, enjoy this time, because there's nothing like high school football. And I know what people used to tell me that. I'm like, get out of here with that. You know, I want to go play college ball, NFL, whatever. But no, it, it's true. I mean, there's nothing like high school football. I mean, coming in here, you're with your best friends. You're out there playing, you know, going under those lights, seeing your family in the stands. There's just something so special about it. And especially, I mean, I think we're very blessed to be able to go to a high school with a culture like this. Those guys, you know, they're on to bigger, better things. They've got lots of places they can be, lots of things they can be doing lots of people pulling in lots of directions, but that they still feel like this is their home and that this is, you know, part of their family. It just means the world to me, you know. We go, we go, break it down real quick. As a head coach, and I think just as our whole program, we're really proud of those guys for how they've given back to the program since they've moved on. With the 33rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Byron Murphy. From the moment Cardinals cornerback Byron Murphy was drafted, the former Saguaro High All-American realized his ultimate dream, playing in the NFL for his hometown team. I've been growing up watching the Cardinals since I was a kid, you know, it's, it's my hometown. Ironically, Murphy joined two former Sabercats on the Cardinals, Christian Kirk and DJ Foster. The three prep stars' careers were intertwined at Saguaro, forming a dynasty that won five state championships in six years. Now, fate has brought them back together, playing in the Valley of the Sun.
crazy in my mind that we're really playing. We're on the same team again, and I'm guarding him in the NFL, so it's kind of it's crazy to me because we're all back together. When Murphy transferred into the program, head coach Jason Mons immediately realized the incoming junior's raw talent, but needed help polishing his future star. He had the perfect mentor in mind. I brought him in the first day of the weight room, and you know, you can ask Christian this. I took him right over to Christian. I said, Christian, this is this guy's yours. Coach Mons took him in and walks Byron up to me, introduced me, and said, Whatever Byron does, you make sure he does it the right way. He was like, This is a guy you need to watch. You need to follow him because he works hard. He was like a bigger brother than me, you know, hard work. I'm trying to do what he does. A brotherhood was born, and the torch was passed. Under the leadership of Kirk and a winning culture, Murphy flourished dominating both sides of the ball at receiver and cornerback. Murphy, Bray Saguaro, touchdown. Murphy stockpiled over 3,000 receiving yards, 44 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, and back-to-back -back state championships in just two years at SAG U. I just remember coming and just, and just sitting on the sidelines. I always loved coming back and stuff, and I knew Christian was going to do his thing, but that's when I really got to see Byron, and I was like, okay, let's kick and play. I think that was a huge part of Byron's development, was having a guy like Christian that he could kind of pattern himself after. You know, the leader, he was a senior, so he was going to be gone, so I was going to be a senior. I had to, you know, step up and show the other guys, the younger guys, to keep it going. But ever since then, I kind of had that mindset that I'm going to make it to the NFL. Murphy went on to star at the University of Washington and entered the 2019 NFL Draft as the top-rated cornerback. With high hopes and first-round projections, frustration mounted as Murphy slid past expectations on draft day. Having Kirk in his corner was the perfect ally, having been in a similar dilemma. I uh, just told him, be patient. You know, it's going to happen. We all know you're not going to go past the second day. So regardless, you're going to end up somewhere tomorrow. Right when that last pick of the first round end, I said, I know they're taking Byron. So I'm sitting here just watching. I'm just like, I couldn't believe watching it just as a fan and watching the draft, like how it was unfolding. And everybody's sitting there going, could you imagine if they take Byron, if the Cardinals take him? We had three guys. I was kind of emotional, you know, going through it, trying to figure out where I was going to end up. But then that next morning, I got the call. Byron. How you doing? Hey, congrats, man. I think you're the best corner in the draft, hands down. And, and we are fired up to have you. So time to go to work, man. Time to show everybody. Can't wait, but Yes, sir. And I was just like, man, this can really happen right now. I can't believe it. In his rookie season, Murphy has had his highs and lows. His first career interception. But once again, Murphy is surrounded by a strong support team and is now driven to build a new legacy, fatherhood. But my son is always going to be my why. He motivates me every day. You know, I, once my son was born, I feel like everything changed. I feel like I had to go harder every single day. He's counting on me, so you know, my mind has always been family over everything. The SAG U trio is still searching for the same team success they had in high school, but the bond they found in each other is a triumph they'll cherish forever.